people make mistakes with they get attracted to someone physically and you know particularly men are and I guess women too I'm just not one of them are, are, are attracted oftentimes by people they think are sexy but are a bad choice in terms of a life partner right but I don't think you fall in love with those people they just become how many dudes have married a girl just because they thought they were hot a there lot. are a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. But so. men, period. It's not just Jews. Like the drug of sexual attraction is the most sold drug in the United States. It it sells cars. Oh, it yeah. sells homes. It's literally it sells lifestyles. Pornography. Yeah. yeah but but, but <laughs> yeah. that. But what is that? I mean, when you're seeing a woman with a short skirt on and long legs walking like like <laughs> lustfully around a car, what do you what is she? What are you saying? You're saying if you buy this car, maybe you can fuck this girl. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Well, it's of course. The worst fucking false advertising but, we have in America. But th th this is why, when it comes to marriage, I think that it's important to actually put your large head before before your other one. Uh, you know, the, the Jonathan Haidt, in his book, his book called The Happiness Hypothesis. Great book. Uh, terrific, right? Yeah. He, and he talks about this, right? He talks about the fact that people make a very large-scale mistake about marriage, which is yes. they think that the passion you feel at the very beginning is what you're going to feel 40 years in. And that's not the way this works. It starts off where your passionate love level for somebody, meaning like lust and how much you want to get them in bed and how much you want to be with them all the time, is at like 100. And your, and your level of kind of committed love Right, that, that, that level of love where you have shared values, that matters to you like this much. Yes. And then over time, after about like two years, the passionate love starts to decline. And by the time you're 60, then you better have shared values because after 60 years, it ain't going to be like it was when you were 20. Right? So you have to have in mind what things are going to be like a few years down the road, which is why I say you should be thinking about what your life together is going to be like before you fall into bed together. That's sound advice. But, well, at, see, that's where I disagree. <laughs> Because I don't think there's anything wrong with falling into bed with someone that you're not going to live the rest of your life with. Then that's where you and I probably disagree. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that it is a bad idea generally. And again, I think that it is a bad idea because a lot people, of people out there that have had some really good times with those bad that, ideas, Ben uh, Shapiro. And, and it may be that when I die, I look back and that is one of my great regrets, my friend. But let me just say that that I think that the 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 thing that that has been foregone uh, is in my life at least, more than made up for by the relationship that I have with my wife. So I can, I'll go anecdotal there, yes. but I also will, I'll go data-driven, which is the longer you live together with somebody before you get married, the higher your divorce rate after. So that, the that higher is, the divorce rate after? Mm -hmm. really? if, you, if you live for a long time with somebody and then you get married, there is a, a higher percentage chance you will end up divorced. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. Probably because of the open window syndrome. Like People feel like, okay, I lived with you for three years. Why aren't we married yet? Why aren't we married yet? Because the guy's like, oh, the window's still oh, open. So the it's woman like, oh, doesn't there, I have feel nothing. completely committed. So once the guy does sign off, she's like, why didn't you do this five years ago? Oh, well, th there's some of that. And also, it, it feels like everybody kind of settled. Mm. Right? Like, if it was, oh, if it was, I'm so committed to this, I want to get married right now. Maybe they just did mushrooms together and realized they really love each other. Again, so different world, man. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, but listen, you know, y'all, I, I have a different experience from everybody else. I dated yeah. my wife for, for three months, we got engaged. We were married within 10 months. We've been married for 12 years. We're well, both versions when we're married. So we're old school. It clearly yeah. works for you. 